Happy New Year, Antioch Waltham Church family. Hope your year is off to a good start. Just want to share a quick word with you, um, the, a word that God gave me for this year. Uh, it's the word slow. Two meanings in this word, slow and also the acronym slow, spirit-led obedience and wisdom. I have a tradition every year to wait on God uh, for a guiding theme for the next year kind of like a goal. And uh, the way I do this is I take some time to reflect on the past year and think about what were some of the, the lessons he wanted to highlight through the year? Or what are some of the struggles that I'm going through that he wants to invite me to trust him uh, to continue to, to grow in, in those areas? And um, so as I reflected on the past year, I thought about all the ways that um, I found myself in places of um, stress, uh, worry, fear, and um, yeah, oftentimes it was those more difficult places out of my comfort zone um, that I found myself, uh, yeah, feeling those things. And I had a choice in those times whether to try to plunge through and brush it down, push it down and go forward, or pause, slow down and let him tend to those areas. Um, and I recognized when I look back, it was when I slowed down to actually acknowledge um, those places of stress, worry, fear, anxiety, that um, I was allowed to experience freedom and healing uh, and peace. Uh, it was allowing him to um, shine a light on that invite others in as well, not, not hold on to it by myself, um, to process, uh, to grow, form new patterns of thinking, of doing, um, according to his leading. And so I uh, just want to share that. One of the, the ways that um, he has taught me uh, to, um, yeah, is to, to look to him first, um, asking him for desired outcomes, whether it's in a um, leading a group or in a relational conflict conversation um, or in ministry decisions. Um, when I set my heart and mind on, on him and his desired outcome, uh, I could be content that he would give me what I needed and that uh, his approval is, is all that mattered. Um, uh, yeah, so it was that place of trusting him that I felt uh, like he really grew a depth in my walk with him, in my walk with others, uh, just personal transformation overall, and, and also um, courage to, to share with others who, have, who don't know him yet, um, really entrusting all the, the outcomes and results to him. Um, so his desired outcome for this little video encouragement was that you would know um, the joy and the invitation to an active, living, vibrant walk with him, being led by his spirit. So slow, obedience and wisdom, all it doesn't have to be boring. Actually, it's, it's the fullest, it's the abundant life that he calls us to. Um, the verse I want to leave you with is John 14, 26 in the Passion Translation. It says, But when the Father sends the Spirit of holiness, the one like me who sets you free, he will teach you all things in my name, and he will inspire you to remember every word that I've told you. I also want to share a cool quote that I heard recently. Um, it comes from a book, Three Mile an Hour God. Um, theologian... Dr. Koyama writes that we'd be wise to travel at God's speed, three miles an hour. Um, God has all the time in the world, and as a result, he is not in a rush. On average, humans walk at this pace, and it's in just such ambling, unhurried, and leisurely moments that we often encounter God. Um, so I invite you to take some time to, to wait on God and, and see if he has a specific word or feel free to borrow this word, uh, I pray blessings over you in this new year, 2021. Uh, may you slow down to allow the Holy Spirit to lead and guide you every step of your journey with the Lord.
allowing him to, um, yeah, show you the way he's calling you to walk. Um, blessings. Love you. Take care.